Previously on Guardians of the Galaxy. The Celestial One must deliver the Forge to the Sacred Shrine. There you can unlock its true power, or destroy it forever. And that true power is what? Returning anyone, from any time period, back to the realm of the living. Guys, stop. Family always works itself out. That's the beauty of having one. Do you think... Do you think we should maybe... try? All right. Everything from me. I will destroy you. And all that you love. How is that possible? Revenge, I get it! Hey guys, a little help here? What's the matter, Quill? Is the big meat lady picking on you?
again? Should only be an hour or so before we get there. You excited to go camping? Of course! Can I start the fire? Okay, but no lighter fluid this time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how are you feeling? I'll be fine, Peter. I, I, I promise. Mm. Okay. I... I just got worked up over you hitting that kid. <laughs> It'll do us both some good to get away from everything. It's a lost cause. We're too far from town. <laughs> Give it a rest. Give it a rest? And sit here in silence? Ugh, no way. Mom? Mom! Ugh. Oh, Peter. Oh my god. I'm okay. We're okay. What? What, what happened? Oh, how did... How did we... Ah! What have I done? This is my fault. I... I shouldn't have been acting like nothing's... What are you... It's getting worse, baby. I was supposed to check into the hospital this morning, but I just wanted to give you one last happy moment to remember me by. Before they plug me into some damn machine. I should have told you. I thought I could beat it. I know. It's hard to hear. Honestly, I've been... I've been trying to ignore it, too. Not taking my medication. Not following the doctor's orders. Just... want to follow my own from here on out. We all have to go, sooner or later. But it ain't over quite yet. So what do you say, hmm? One last adventure together? We can still get to the campground before dark. It should be a clear night. Every star will be out. And it'll just be me and you. Okay, Mom. Let's keep going. 
Thank you, baby. We'll make sure this memory's a keeper. So we're all in agreement then. We sell the ship and split the dough. You promised money, not the tasty combination of water and flour. Quill's just knocked out, you morons. He isn't dead. But I already called dibs on his stuff. He's got tons of earth junk in his room. I'm sure that'd fetch a few units at the trader's market. I am Groove. What could you possibly want with his jacket? It ain't gonna fit. I am Groot. As a memento? You are such a sap. Hello, Peter. We were discussing the sale of your possessions, because we thought you were deceased. I guess it'll have to wait a little longer. Well, we're not getting back up there. Great time to have my jet boots busted. I'll have to find another way out. Hey, Groot. You holding up okay? I am Groot. Uh... He says he's thirsty. Uh, okay. I am Groot? No. He doesn't have anything to drink, Groot. You just have to wait it out. I am Groot. Yeah, yeah, we know, buddy. Better just ignore him, Pete. He's stuck in a loop. I... am... Groot? Hey, Gamora. Nebula's really hurt. Maybe beyond repair. I couldn't stop it. This is what happens when someone gets too close to me. I've never seen her this bad before. She's tough, but that may not cut it this time. We let Nebula into the Guardians and look where it got her. We have to live with that. Please, Peter, just leave me alone. I just need some time to myself. Shouldn't you be trying to find a way out of here? Hey, Rocket. Ah, look. It's our troubled leader, Peter Quill. Just when I think things couldn't get worse. Just when I think we've hit rock bottom, you managed to find us something lower. This time, literally. Yeah. Well, I am to please. Not a compliment, but okay. Hey, this is where I plan to starve and die. So, uh, find your own area. Find us a way out of here, man. Jeez, Pete. Leave me in peace. What's up, Mantis? Oh, hello. Is everything okay? I just wanted to thank you for catching me. Anytime. And I'm sorry for intruding on your memory of your mother. She seemed like a nice woman. Yeah. She was. I've never been in a place like this before. I don't like it. It's so cold and dark in here. I'd very much like to leave. Hey, Drax. You see any way out of here? I have looked up. I have looked down. I have even turned in a complete circle. There is no exit. Hmm. All right. We'll keep looking. I will not rest until I find that treacherous exit. If there is a way out, I will find it. It cannot hide. 
Do not distract me, Peter. I must concentrate. Don't tell me you're afraid of that little guy. <laughs> yes, what a ridiculous looking creature. On my world, tunnel worms are filthy. They eat only rock and dirt. I have tried this for myself. It was incredibly destructive to my digestive system. I ruined many toilets. It's okay. It doesn't want to harm us. It's just... curious. Curious about how we taste, probably. Is it chewing through that stone? Better that than us. Getting chewed to death is top five on my all-time fears list. All right, I'll take care of it myself. It's on the run! Kill it, kill it, kill it! So, should we go that way, or, uh... Peter. What about Nebula? <sighs> hey, buddy. Can you carry her? I am Groot. Thanks, Groot. This beautiful, maybe I wouldn't be so psychically scarred. Look at that. <laughs> I'd take a moment to soak in all of this beauty if we weren't about to die. That's just the way things go around here. It's like a black light painting down here. What is that? Whoa, what are you doing, Pete? That crystal there is natural thorium. Just looking at one the wrong way can cause it to explode. Worth a ton of units, but highly volatile. Huh. I'm actually a little surprised no one's mined this planet dry. Maybe there's a reason no one tried. Um, not good. You know what we did to the other worm? They seek vengeance. That thing led us into a death trap! They do not want to kill us. Just eat us. As I said, they're hungry. Like that makes me feel any better. Let's do what we can do. Man, 
Nothing like the smell of fried worms to really lift your spirits. <laughs> yes. Just like Mother's cooking. Here we go. Which way? One of these has got to lead us back to Hala. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up. You actually want to keep going after Hala? Maybe you were watching a different show, but in the one I saw, the forge blew up in her face and she wound up with godlike powers. So, you're okay with being responsible for Hala laying waste to the entire galaxy? Wasn't my idea to try and destroy it. I said it would be bad news, basically told you exactly what would happen. Boom! Forge in the face, Mega Hala. Magala. You are terrible at naming things. What we really should call her is a big friggin' problem for us. Cause that's what she is. We had to destroy it, Rocket. No one should wield that type of power. Uh, I got bad news for you then. She's got it. She's got that power in her face! Which is exactly why we have to go after her. You don't get the talk, Gamora. It's cause of you. We gotta carry out all this dead weight. She isn't dead. Yet. The word you're looking for is yet. She's as good as if you ask me. No one did. I know I failed her. I don't need you to twist the knife. Hey, everyone needs someone like me. The guy who says what everyone's thinking, but it's too much of a whip to do anything about it. No one else is thinking that, Rocket. Only you. Oh, when they rewired your brain, they must have screwed up. Because half the time, you're talking out of your ass! Hey, I didn't ask to be this way! Let's go, Groot. I am Groot. What? Oh, fine, you big baby. I didn't need any of you when I started in this business, and I don't need you now. Better off on my own. Gamora, wait up. Go with Gamora. I will protect the rodent. Do not worry. Sometimes I do not need to tell you how the others are feeling. Makes my job easy. can be a cruel, manipulative jerk pretty much every day. But this time... He was right. I pushed her away. And instead she wanted to kill me. She nearly did. <sighs> Lately, there have been too many painful reminders of those days. I try to help others. It always backfires. Nebula, the Nova Corps, even Rocket, they hate me. One day, Assuming we survive this, you'll hate me too. I don't want to hurt you. I am Groot. I never seem to be able to get things right. Look, Kamora. Oh! <laughs> oh God, what is this stuff? Toxic spores. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh. 
Yeah, not toxic to everyone, apparently. He seems to like it. I am Groot. I am Groot. Gamora? Nebula. I'm here. We're going to get you back to the ship and repair you, okay? She's fading. We need to hurry. It's too far to jump. We're gonna have to find another way across. Hey. Check it out. Let's see where you go. B Peter. You saved Gamora. You saved all of us. Sister. Make certain Hala suffers. As we have. Rest, Nebula. Rest. Hala will regret this. What's up, Groot? Why are you acting all weird? Groot am I. <laughs> you, my friend, are not in a right state of mind. I, I, am, am. Groot, Groot. I? I'm Groot. <laughs> I am Groot. <laughs> We're all gonna die here. Hey, uh, Groot, have you seen anything around we could? <laughs> cool. Very helpful. Can you give me a lift into that tunnel? I am Groot. Help me up into tunnel. You understand? Yeah, forget it. I'm gonna get back to it. Um... Peace, dude. <laughs> Later, Groot. I am Groot. Well, we're not getting out the way we came in. Do you want to talk about Nebula? My sister and I, we never knew how to be anything but weapons. Flawed ones at that. She and I, <laughs> we never had a chance. <sighs> never mind. This isn't worth discussing with you. Any ideas on how to get across? I'm looking. There's got to be something here we can use. We better hurry, though. Nebula won't last long. 
I'm gonna keep looking around. Good. Bet this bad boy could bridge the gap. Just gotta find a way to tip it over. Hmm. Perfect. Let's give this a whirl. Oh, yep, yeah, right. Still broken. Hmm. Not getting up there without my jet boots. Maybe someone can give me a boost. That'd be a hell of a fall. Well, that's unsettling. Reminder to self. Don't fall down there. Hey, can you help me up into that tunnel? Yeah, let's go. Ready when... <gasps> Cool. Glad I could help. Hey, group. We'll be right back. Not so capable without the jet boots. <laughs> yeah? Well... Just try it again. <sighs> Come on. This is pathetic. Maybe I should just go it alone. <sighs> Thanks. Listen. I just need you to realize something. Nebula is just the beginning. Someone else is going to get hurt, or worse. I've been ambushed before, but this time, I see the danger coming right for us. I can't be responsible for my own family, let alone the whole galaxy. Once we get off this planet, I'm going to leave the Guardians. Gamora. If I'm alone, the only one who could get hurt is me. We did great things together, but the team's fractured. It's not like it used to be. I may have needed this team once, but I've lost faith in the Guardians. We are. One, two, three! You're out of sync. Try it again. One, two, three! Yeah! Again. One, two, three! Yeah! Last time. One, two, three. That should do it. Yeah, let's get out of here. Groot? Huh? How did you even get over there? I am Peter, wait. You're our leader. I'm trusting you to protect all of us.
can't see a thing in here. I am Groot. Almost. What's that smell? Oh, it's horrible. Did something die down here? Can we just keep moving, please? The end of the tunnel's just up ahead. Anything to get away from that smell. To go container. Okay, okay. We're gonna get you out of here. In the... What, in a giant alien lunch sack? Never would have happened if you'd come with me. Everyone stay quiet. I'll get Drax. Wakey, wakey, big guy. Time to get up before the worms do. saying something. Okay, Drax. That's enough awkward hugging for today. <laughs> Seriously, Drax, <laughs> get off me. I will help you. No, no, not you, Mantis. No.
Still fresh. Must be close. Something small. I got you, Papa. You should have seen your face. Outwitted by your own daughter. You just don't want to admit I surprised you. You have now completed the test of guile and diversion. These skills will serve you well on the warrior's path, where every child... Must leave their home and make the perilous journey to the training grounds. Take it seriously, Kamaria. I say it out of love, daughter. This path, it is not to be taken lightly. If... If I was scared, that would be alright, wouldn't it? Not that I am. It's just that... I mean... I suppose many who seek the warrior's path might have such feelings. But... I know you're counting on me. So, for you and Mama... I will travel the path and succeed. We don't have long. Before you leave, I promised you... The tattoo! I am ready, Papa. <laughs> I know you are. Your first tattoo marks you as a warrior in training. You will add many as your journey continues. Relax, daughter. It will not take long. Mount Kylos. Your mother and I had our soul union there. I don't ever want a soul union. Never. Ever. I will become a great warrior on my own. I'm not like the other scouts. Talking as if they're already warriors. They are far too childish for me. I don't need another to bind my soul to. I will become a great warrior on my own. Papa, there's so little time, and sometimes I feel like there's still so much to ask you. What is it you wish to know? What if... What if I face an opponent who cannot be beaten? I am strong, but I am small. I fear that my skills will not be enough when the time comes. I suppose... I will have to figure it out for myself, when the time comes. And what if... <clears throat> what will you do if I return more powerful than even you? My legend spreading across the valleys. My foes quivering in fear. I will then. I'll return more powerful than anyone. It is done. It is us.
There is one last test you must pass before you can leave. Conquering the unknown. It's too far. I, I can't see what's down there. You must jump. Unless you wish to wait another year. No! I'm ready! I... I can't do it. You have to help me, Papa. Wait! I'm proud of you, Kamaria. You will do well at the training grounds. I'm gonna miss you, Papa. There is no reason to. Look at your tattoo, and know I am always with you. I will. Papa, I must go now. You have to let me go sometime. It's a long walk on the warrior's path. I don't want to keep the others waiting. You can't hold on to me forever. I get it. You're gonna miss me when I'm gone. Okay, okay. I will miss you too, and Mama. We can't wait around all day like this. It'll be dark soon. I'll fight my way out of it if I have to. should have let her go. Maybe... Maybe then she would still be alive. Drax, I... Hey, that's real sad and all, but we can use some muscle over here! This is where we run. Unintentional. I was only trying to pull him off you. Please forgive me. The ship! There's my girl! Hurry, Rocket! I'm trying! I ain't got long stick legs like the rest of you!
Everyone take a seat, we're leaving. Did any of you get a good look at that thing? <laughs> what was that even? I am Groot. A tree? Stop yanking my tail! I am Groot. Nebula's plugged into the ship. She's stable. Okay, then we're good to go. Wait! I feel something. Someone is... starving. No, bigger! My hunger has no equal. Ah, once we're out of here, we'll get you some food. That is one big blue! Yes, Big Blue is a perfect name for this beast. Punch it, Pete! Are we dead? <sighs> Not quite. We're lunch! Or dinner. What time is it? Miss Slimy Cave. It is a big old stomach. Nebula, how could I? What the hell is she doing? Mora, wait! Plug her back in, Peter. No. Stop. Please. If your systems shut down, we can power them through the ship. It won't do anything. Stop being so stubborn. It can help keep you alive. I don't like... being tethered. No. I'm past that point. Don't be stupid. Please. Don't make me beg. I'm doing this for you. We can't do anything on our own. I'll get Rocket. There's no use. I can't be put back together. This time. Honestly, it feels good to have parts of me. whenever I wanted. Maybe then I could have slept. It was my idea to put all this in my body. I told everyone it was so I could be better than Gamora. Why did you really do it? To be more like her. I looked up to her. I was terrible to her. I nearly killed her. I... loved her.
Hey. Hey. Do, uh... Do you want me to... I don't know if people care to fix me. I, uh... Yeah, I get that. There's something I need to tell you, sister. What is it? I... I know. I can sense your despair, Peter. Everyone's really. Is Nebula still? I don't mean to pile it on, but I got some bad news too. Our engines got thrashed when we were swallowed. Can we still fly this thing? Not a friggin' chance. Okay. Let's get back to work. Nebula was the fiercest, most sinister opponent I have faced in battle. What I liked most about Neb was how much she hated Pete. Like in a deep, unrelenting way. Funny girl. I am Groot. Oh yeah, and she really seemed to care about you, Gamor. You should value the connection you two shared. To be alone is a worse fate. Speaking of worse fates, we gotta figure a way out of here before we end up like those poor bastards. Those poor bastards. Exactly! Huh? What? Look at all those ships. There has to be some parts we can salvage out there. You forget about that internal ocean of stomach acid. You can't just take a little swim. Then get me flying again. I'll see what I can do. I mean... I sure ain't dumb enough to go out there. All right, let's find some engines. That'll do. Listen, I've been running the numbers. We gotta drop weight in order to take off. Drop weight? How exactly do we do that? Yeah, take everything that ain't bolted down and give it the old Chucky Chuck. The lighter we are, the longer we float. The easier it'll be to get airborne. I know it's hard to hear this, but we gotta do it. Groot's gonna go up like a bonfire if he touches that acid. Please don't tell me the answer. Well, they didn't burst into flames. So time for round two. That was 
long as I don't overwork the jets, I should be able to avoid the acid. I hope. Hope this creature doesn't want a midnight snack. Last thing we need is for the acid level to rise. Hey, Rocket. I want you to go easy on Gamora. Okay, she's... Yeah, okay. I know when to back off. Rocket, what's up with these boots? I thought you fixed them. I made a valiant effort. There's only so much you can do when parts are scarce. Incidentally, we're gonna need to replace our plumbing when we get back to nowhere. Either way, stop complaining. Rocket, any luck lightening the ship? Gamora says if I go anywhere near her room, she'll cut off my head. It's a work in progress. Rocket, what gives her the mood lately? I ain't got a ton of interest in dying right now. Can you blame me? Drax, how's the unloading going? I keep tearing objects off of the bridge, but Rocket says they are essential to life support. Yeah, um... Why don't you check with him next time? Drax. Yes, Peter Quill. Have you gathered the necessary components to eject us from this beast? Not yet. What about now? What's up, Drax? I trained my Camaria to be a warrior, like Thanos trained Nebula. Still, I am confident she would not have fallen down the same path. Gamora. It's a real mess we're in. Everything I touch, I'm toxic. You're not toxic, Gamora. A stomach? <laughs> That's toxic. Thank you, I think. How's the rest of the crew doing? We are arguing about what to jettison. Get back as quickly as you can. Gamora? How are you holding up back there? I'll... I'll be better once we get out of here. Gamora, how is emptying out the ship going? We're at each other's throats. So, just another day on the Milano? <sighs> ideas on how to move these engines, my boots won't be able to. It's an engine, Pete. Just turn it on. Oh, good. A giant red button. This always ends well. Said to put in some elbow grease. Which sounds gross now that I think about it. Careful, Quill. Hey, I'm doing my best out here. Now I'm inside an upset stomach. There's a rhythm to it. Yes, Drax? I think we should dispose of... That... No, Drax, she stays with us. But it hardly makes any... No, Drax! Nah. <sighs> no engines here. This... Stomach is lined with thorium crystals. Like the acid wasn't bad enough already. More thorium. Ugh. That don't give you indigestion.
What's up, Gamora? Groot never cleaned up his disgusting mess in the bathroom, and he refuses to do it. Maybe Rocket can talk some sense into him? I'll see what I can do. Hey, Rocket, make sure that Groot cleans out the bathroom. Huh, Groot did puke up half his guts after the bar. Should save us some weight to get that barf out of there, finally. You know, I'm flying over deadly stomach acid, yet somehow you're the one that grossed me out. What's up? Would a piece of thorium work as starship fuel? I suppose so. In a sense, all fuel is just explosion, so yeah, it'll explode. Why are you asking? Oh, no reason. Just, <laughs> just curious. Hmm. Don't mind if I do. If this doesn't work out... Oof. What a way to go. Big boy. Bingo. Drax, I know you're dealing with a lot, but so is Gamora. I have heard the news. It is unfortunate. Do you want to talk about Nebula? Nebula knew that we were better off alone. I feel so guilty for what happened to her. I wanted to warn you that I'm throwing away that orange ball you gave me as a token of your affection. The basketball? It hardly weighs a thing! Everything has to go, Peter. And also, Drax stabbed it. Oh, man! Get off my back! There's no friggin' way in hell I'm getting rid of this! I'm sacrificing all my extra knives and swords. How many swords do you have? Meanwhile, Rocket won't give up one of his guns. Yeah, but check it out. Not now, not ever. I built this thing with my own two paws. See? Peter doesn't care. 
I'm keeping it. Ah, they don't understand. Possessions are meaningless. All that matters is the trail of blood we leave after slaughtering those who have wronged us. Oh, that's some image. After our shared experience, Quill, I discarded everything. Even the things that reminded me of my beloved Kamaria and Hovat. You see that, everyone? Drax went and threw everything away. You should follow his example. Why? Shouldn't our leader set the example? You hear that, Groot? I guess Drax is our leader now. I am leader? Your room is still full of keepsakes, Peter. Since I'm the leader now, I request that you all kneel before me. No, no, just... just stop. Let me show you how it's all done. Okay, I'm gonna go back to my room and sacrifice the crap out of some personal stuff. Oh man. Where to start? Throwing away their belongings is certainly upsetting the others. What is it about these... things? Why do they hold so much emotional weight? Why does your loyalty to things outweigh your devotion to others? Like many things I've experienced since waking, it is a mystery. I will think about this more. There is much I can learn from you, it seems. One thing I learned about the Guardians is nobody ever makes sense. All right. Let's get started. Oh, man. This one's pretty emotional for me. My first hunt back on Rayjack. <laughs> I remember it like yesterday. Finished first place for taking down a massive... I sense a lie. Last place. This was a trophy just for participating. Screw the pity prize. Yondu gave me this. Not sure how he'd feel knowing I dumped it. This Yondu has a strange way of showing affection. He has a lot of strange ways. Trash. A photo of me and Mom. You should keep that. It weighs little in your hand, but much in your mind. No, I'm keeping this. Besides, it doesn't weigh a thing. All right. Let's see what we got over here. It's my weight set. Just in case you were wondering where this incredibly muscular bod comes from. I wasn't. Take one last look at this bod, because after today, we're taking the fast train to Tubbsville. <laughs> My emergency stash of Centauri spirits. They helped me to... Act like a fool? No. Relax. They helped me to relax. Nah. Need to keep my wits about me. My toy ray gun from Earth. I used to bring this with me everywhere as a kid. I mean, the galaxy is a dangerous place. Well... The dream of a Guardians baseball team dies today. I've never owned anything before, but I wish I had something to throw away to help the team. Even though I know these things are important to you, including that leather hand. 
But perhaps not having anything is for the best. Gather round and be led by example. Huh. Looks like you kept a few things. Only the essentials. I guess this is a case where half-assed is better than no-assed. I'm actually a little surprised he came back with anything. My ego's swelling here. All right, since you're not absolutely pathetic, I'll ditch the guns. Hmm. Fine. Same with my swords. I am Groot. Fine. What else we got to ditch? Maybe Mantis has something she would like to contribute. Sorry, I don't have anything. You know, there's one thing nobody mentioned. I'm just gonna come out and say it. The tape deck. I've done the numbers, and that thing has to go. Rocket. It's how we listen to tunes. It's how I share myself. It's real weird and all, but even with everything we're ditching, it's still gonna be close. We want to play it safe. We gotta toss it. Okay. You win. Today's the day the music dies. Drex! <laughs> It is dead. Okay. With that thing gone, the rest of the stuff we stripped, and those extra engines, we should actually be able to get out of here. Then it's go time. It's now or never. After Groot and I install the engines you found? Yep. Right after that. Exactly. Ready to bust out of this rock lobster? Engines are online, Pete. Now we just gotta, uh, pick an exit. Uh, are you actually implying? Yes, this worm is a meat tunnel. We could either go out the mouth side or the back side. I am Groot. Hey, Groot doesn't want to fly out of a giant worm's giant posterior. We're already facing the colon. We should head out the colon. Would you stop saying that word? That is the word for what it is. It is a colon. Well, I vote mouth. We already know the Milano, uh, fits that way. I ain't got a ton of interest getting wedged in this thing's, uh, Say it, raccoon. Say colon. Wormhole. Ugh, I can't believe we're wasting time arguing about this. This is what's wrong with this team. The mouth has teeth. This creature could bite us in half. Knowing the weird crap we've seen in this place, I'm sure its butt has teeth, too. Ha ha ha. We're going out the bum. Colon, Peter. It's pronounced colon. Quill! Hello? Enough with the suspension, Drama Queen. It's working! And it's gonna be gross. The ship's never gonna be clean again. Just get us out alive, please. No problema. We'll be out of here faster than you can say. Never tell anyone about this. The universe must hear of this glorious day. The Guardian's great colon escape. Oh, how exciting! Go team. What? Oh good. Sounds like somebody's coming back for seconds. Okay, okay, I hear you. It looks like one of our shiny new engines got itself turned off during our grandiose exit back there. Can we fix it? 
Sure, you can. Just climb out onto that wing and turn it back on. Me? No, I didn't volunteer. Yeah, well, you're the only one who can sort of fly, so it's gotta be you. I'm uh, fine. Okay, I'm out here. Are you gonna slow down so I can do this? And let the giant hungry monster catch up to us again? I don't think so. I'm just gonna tilt the ship so you can walk around the wing. Ready? Uh, I don't think that's the same One, two, three. Okay, Pete, I gotta write this thing. Hold on to something. Wait, Rocket, don't you dare. How's it going, Quill? You still with us? Yeah, I'm hanging in there. Good. Now, when you get to the engine, all you gotta do is hit the big blinky button on the side. Can you handle that? Yes, Rocket, I think I can manage the simple task of... Hey. Hey! Hey! the engine it's the what how is that leaking how is what leaking the inertial compensators somebody help me steer this freaking thing i don't understand the compensator gel all runs inside the ship how did that get damaged yeah so uh one or two of the worms may have made Inside. Well, somebody deal with them before the ship sheds itself apart! Come, tree. We shall peacefully resolve the situation with our knives. I am through! This is my chance, Peter, to protect my new family, like I never did for Hovat and Kamaria. My daughter said she would have to figure out what to do against an unbeatable opponent when the time comes. And that time is here. I will go alone into battle and slice this beast from mouth to colon. He will not have a good day. Well, you better do something quick down there! The ship's breaking up! Please, 
Peter. Give me this. Trax. We're losing engine power! I am We're can't keep this up! <laughs> you gotta do something, Pete! It is what I must do. Peter! You must do it! Now! Damn it, Drax! I'm not doing What the hell is going on down there? Ah! Hang on! I'm giving it all she's got! No! No! Come on! Say something! No. Groot! What, what happened? This is Quill's fault. I was going to fight that beast to the death, but Quill would not let me. Look at him! Poor guy. That ain't just a bark wound. That's to the core. I ain't leaving his side, so get out of here and take us back to nowhere. We can get him help there. And you better pray he makes the trip. It's going to be a long ride home. This place is a dump. But I've never been more excited to see it. Never noticed all the rust. You wouldn't think things would oxidize in space. But there you go. Oh, there he is, Groot. Hey. Remember that face for later when you're describing this butcher to a Nova Corps sketch artist. I... am Groot? I know we have pictures of him. It's just saying. I am... Hold on. I know it's hard for your dumb human brain to see the parallels, but you let me go into that tunnel by myself where I could have easily become worm food. Drax wanted to jump. You should have let him jump. Every second you hesitated, you risked us all. Let Drax have his end if he wanted it so bad. I'd prefer to stay alive. Nothing to say? How about if I just keep pushing your buttons? Quill! I have been denied the sanctification of sacrifice, and I demand mediation. Peter? I got it. He just wants to mediate. Drax. Would you like to make a counter proposal? Drax! <laughs> oh man, that was amazing. Let's see what happens if you do it many more times. Come on, Drax. Just one more. Maybe a kick for good measure. Today should have been full of glory. But you have made it gloryless. Hmm, ah, uh, yeah, I don't think that's a word. Anti-glorial? It's on the tip of my tongue. You denied me a warrior's death and kept me from my family. That I can never forgive. I can't take it! There is too much conflict with you. Too much anger, resentment, and sadness. This is pretty typical. Some of it's us all are Pete's children. Fault. Underdeveloped children. Stop it! These negative.
negative emotions drive an invisible knife through my skull! If this is the level of turmoil, why don't you all simply walk away? Surrounding yourself with so much turmoil can change you. No one should have to live like this. It's too painful for me to continue to be around you. Thank you for freeing me and teaching me that the loudest shouter is usually the most correct. But I must go. Okay, bye then. I will miss the way you feebly guided everyone. Perhaps we will cross paths once more. I can no longer serve under you, Quill. I must go seek out my honorable death elsewhere. Perhaps with the superior team, protectors of the universe. I already have an offer from them. Yeah, that's clearly a made-up group. You're just trying to upset Peter. No, I am not. You can contact their leader, Schmieder Twill. Now there is a leader who will let his fellow teammates sacrifice themselves. Come on, Groot. That sounds like our cue. Good luck with your death wish, Quill. And I don't care if you like it or not. It's happening. Some people think goodbye seems too permanent, so... Instead, I'll just say... I hope I never see you losers again in my life. Don't call me, I'll call you. And I wouldn't expect that call anytime soon. Groot, let's move it. I am Groot. Go with me, buddy. Remember? Your best friend. I am Groot. I am Groot. I am Groot. I am Groot. I knew you were coming with me. Never doubted it for a second. I am Groot. What? Why would you do that? I am Groot. He says he doesn't want Mantis to be alone. But what about me? I am Groot. Fine. I'll miss Groot. But that rodent? <laughs> Not really. We never really saw eye to eye. Ship won't be the same without him, though. Then I guess you're leaving, too. No. I think I'll stick around, for now. After all, you'd be lost without me. At least we get to keep the S at the end of Guardians now. I wouldn't let you be singular. So, what now? Time to take some action. Barkeep, two of your most vile concoctions. Next up, is your codex One drink, and then we find Hollow. <sighs> Where to even start? We have some breaking news. Reports are flying in about a violent Kree attack on Jabari 5. Millions are feared dead. That was easier than expected.
got to tilt the ship so you can walk around the wake. Ready? Right. I don't think that's a safe One, two, three.